And then, is it all done on this point number four for Willie really Soon being a climate change denier? Nope, not so easy. It's actually that because by this time, the narrative is that individual scientists cannot be speaking on climate science. It is only big institutions like called the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC for short. So what is IPCC? I don't want to speak on how we have IPCC. Just look at their webpage and we'll see what they do. The first point about IPCC is that this is actually a, a political body that's trying to give some scientific advice, somebody, scientific summary. And they were created in 1988 by World Meteorological Organization and the UNED, which is the UN Environmental Program. Right? And let's see what they do. You can ask, are they producing scientific report or political report? Right? But you can see immediately, what is their primary goal? Is to provide scientific information that policymakers can use for, for climate policy. That's what they claim directly. Okay? And there's really, really not much to it. I want to now compare IPCC approach versus Willie Soon's approach. Their main goal is to help international negotiation to reduce greenhouse gas emission. My goal is very simple. Trying to improve scientific understanding of climate change. Their goal is to help UNEP, United Environmental Programme, with their goals. My is just simply to try to investigate the fascinating and challenging subject of climate change. It's very, very complex. And then they require uniform scientific consensus. So only one narrative is allowed, isn't it, right? Or else you will promote this hesitancy or we are called the merchants of doubt and so on and so forth. And then, but mine require open-minded open -minded scientific inquiries on every issue, right? We need to know what's happening. And then when you have any scientific disagreement, you either got ignore, downplay or dismiss. That's what IPCC always do. For me, I say thank you. Oh, we need to study this. Be careful, right? And we acknowledge it or else I'll be subject to a lot of this thing called confirmation bias, isn't it? You want to know what UNEP goal is? By 1989, before even the first IPCC report in 1990, they already issued such a statement that if we don't cut the carbon dioxide emission, the whole world will be flooded in 2010. What year is it now, guys? <laughs> but anyway, it, it shows you beyond doubt that UNEP goal is always about policy making, it's about you know, politics. It has nothing to do with science, really. Now I want to perform an acid test here on whether, if you're still not convinced that IPCC is about science, uh, not about science and it's about policy, you just test them. What happened when there are disagreements? What happened when there are con different views, not only following your narrative, right? They have four ways of dealing with this, which is always the cheap trick, so I don't want to even talk about that. I want to talk about two examples that involving my own paper, okay? The first one is on this issue of so-called urbanization bias. As you all know that urban city is growing, 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 so it can contaminate if your thermometer station is sitting there. And then the latest report from IPCC, which was published in 2021, last year, the first report came out saying that, well, there's no new result come out since the 2013 report, which is the AR5, this is AR6 report claiming, that the urbanization effect is very small, it won't contribute more than 10%. Okay? So, but no one was reading my paper. I published a very prestigious paper in Earth Science Review in 2015, discussing exactly the problem about urbanization problem, on contaminating the thermometer data. So we think that it's very, very serious and you should really watch this. That's our conclusion. And we show all the data, everything we show. And then, of course, what they do to me, to my paper, they just ignore it, it doesn't exist. Shh, don't tell anyone, don't tell anyone, please keep it a secret. Go home, don't tell nobody. But, bad news for them. Professor Pan Mao Jai, which is a co-chair of the <laughs> AR6 report, actually cited my paper correctly. He actually cited not only recognizing two problems that I say in the paper. First is about the urbanization uh, bias, you know, problem. And then I also work on the solar physics, you know, which is the solar record that they should use. IPCC say you can only use one record, but we show there are 16 of them to choose from. And the science is not settled, and they say, no, 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 we listen, is, you know, don't listen to him. But Professor Tan Ma which is the IPCC co-chair of the AR6 report, when report, and when Reporter asked them, why don't you cite this paper? They said, well, th that is the second issue. But anyway, <laughs> this is Pan Mao Jai as, of course. Now, instead of being a scientist, he's the IPCC co-chair, just to tell you that it's true. 
By the way, he, he and my mother share the same family names. Last name, Chai. And then let's move on to the second example. In this uh, sixth report, they actually, this is now on the issue of snow cover extents, SCE, right? They actually try to make it look like, they actually cite our paper, but they try to make it look like we agree with them. The paper that we published was under Connolly et al. Okay, in 2019. They try to make like we agree with them on, on the snow ice cover decreasing in the summer and spring season. Okay? And this is our actual paper. What did we find? So in 2019, before this AR6 came out, we examined the model, the climate model that was used in the fifth assessment in, that was published in 2013. We actually were criticizing how bad the climate model is. We show that you know they can only say something about the spring and summer was was showing some long-term decrease, but even when it's decreasing, the amplitude is all wrong. Science is all about number, okay? So it's really, really true that uh, this IPCC was misquoting us. Here's the data. You first note that even in the place where spring and summer where it's decreasing, the bottom is the climate model product. The top is actually actual observation. If you look at spring and summer, they predict decrease and you observe decrease. But look at the amplitude. Science is about number. And then the most serious offense is winter and fall. You can say that the climate model is still predicting that all the snow cover should decrease over time. Look at what the data is doing, going the opposite direction. I, think, I don't think you should go out there and tell people that I got 50% in my test. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing good. I mean, that's embarrassing, by the way. And they don't want to talk about that. They don't discuss that in the report. So you know what it is. 